Okay, uh, today we're going to talk about where you can look for ticks on cows. Um, it's 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 really important to know where ticks are going to be located on a cow because when you put her in the chute, you may not necessarily see the ticks. In fact, there's a lot of ticks that go unseen. In fact, there's a lot of theory out there is why ticks aren't really a problem. Well, they're really a major problem because of the pathogens that they can bring in, such as anaplasmosis and other things such as production losses. We know that when you have 10 or more Lone Star ticks, the little tick with the white dot, it can, it can uh, reduce weight gains and impact weaning weights. So what we wanna do is show you today is where you look for ticks on a cow. So as you put cows to a chute, if you have a chute like this, it's, it's really nice. But whatever chute system, even if you have an alley, in some fashion how you can restrict that animal is going to be very beneficial to you and how you can look for ticks so when you look at, at ticks on an animal there's going to be major spots and in fact what you see here is anywhere along the flanks and around the udder regions is where a lot of ticks are going to be so what you want to do when you scratch for ticks is always protect yourself of course but you're going to feel a tick before you see a tick so when you feel a tick and see a tick, you'll see, you'll feel that tick before you'll actually see it. This is actually a Lone Star knit, uh, tick uh, nymph. So this is the stage it is before it becomes an adult. So this is very important because Lone Star ticks are already out. And so you just keep feeling back in there. Most importantly, always protect yourself, protect your employees. But when you scratch for ticks, you're gonna feel that tick before you see that tick. And then as you come down the animal, you again, in certain animals, you know you can do more than other animals. If you've got a really high-headed animal, you don't want to get your head in there to get your arms in there where it gets hurt. But you just want to get in there and, and look and feel for ticks and look along the flank regions, around the udders, and along the sides here, and then the, what we call the axillary regions. So from that, we want to move down and we can look down you're never really going to see ticks just along the side right you here along the back you can see some already this is where your flies especially horn flies are going to be but as you move down you this front region and this is kind of a harder region to get to but along this brisket region is where you want to look for ticks and scratch for ticks and so sometimes depending on what kind of shoot you have is going to be very important because it's always going to be between the legs and around the udder regions sometimes we'll have some severe tick infestations underneath the tail and just right around the anal region but most importantly as you go down and scratch for ticks you want to make sure you're looking for this so as you come to to the head region the head regions are going to be important because sometimes it's not a matter of what's on the head it's a matter of what's on the ears and in fact most people can see ear ticks before they see anything else so as you look for ticks you want to look on the inside and outside of the margin and if they have if they have an ear tag ticks will feed around that ear tag in fact uh, as you look at an identification tag you can see here and if you look at this, if you can see that, that is a Gulf Coast tick. That's actually a male Gulf Coast tick that is not attached. But this is their preferred feeding site. So this is where we want to look for ticks. As you come down the head region, again, always protect yourself. Never put your head above the, uh, the cow's head. So you want to get low, look along the jawline, and just feel. You're going to feel a tick before you see a tick. So fill that jawline and then from there you can check the brisket region check the brisket region and that's where you the majority of your tick be okay this is the tick that fell off that cow that was around the udder regions so this is an engorged uh lone star tick it's a blood fed female and what's going to happen is they engorge themselves with that much blood so they can produce eggs and once they produce eggs from the blood that they receive from that animal, they can lay up to anywhere from um, 1,000 to 2,000 eggs in her lifetime. So uh, essentially what's gonna happen is she's gonna fall off that animal, 
uh, digest that blood meal and then produce eggs from that blood meal and then uh, be out in the pasture and so when you're walking along in the pasture as you walk through a certain trail you'll see oh, just a ton of seed ticks that's usually because that's where this female laid her eggs I just want to tell you that uh, there's always going to be ticks out there. Ticks are going out in force as you're working your animals. This is going to be the technique you need to use to determine if you need to treat for ticks. Thank you.